Okay, so the name of the song is Adventure Book, and I based it on a old friendship I had. We were friends for like 10 years, and then COVID and quarantine and going to high school, it just like kind of changed everything, and we kind of fell apart. Um, so it's just about like her and my relationship, and just because she was very big part of my life for a very long time so it was very difficult to like kind of lose that kind of piece so it was just about that and do you feel different since you've written the song at all yeah I definitely feel like before I wrote the song it was just kind of all in my head kind of like and people would mention her name or I'd see a picture and I'd be like I don't know just like it all be inside but now that I wrote the song it's very like like <laughs> let it go. Yeah, yeah, kind of relaxing and so now I don't feel as like tense in a way when like people talk about her, I guess. Yeah. Like in front of me. So yeah. you've let that that Yeah. I mean it is a, some sort of trauma, right? It, it, yeah, it's definitely like it was very difficult. Yeah. It was a difficult transition to like go from having her like seeing her every day and then just like not For your whole life. Yeah. Yeah. We were always together. Yeah. Always. So yeah. it was just very different. Yeah. like not yeah that's really cool so yeah. this is your first song you've ever written yes <laughs> and very big <laughs> that's crazy because yeah. everyone I mean I don't know I'm gonna only just speak for myself <laughs> my first song was not great <laughs> but it, it opened a door to like all the possibilities yeah that you can do musically and lyrically so yeah. um tell me about like the chord progression and where it came from and it, how it got so crazy I don't even know. I picked key of C originally because I was like, all white keys, very simple. Yeah. We agreed on that. It wasn't going to be difficult, but I had just gotten done playing a Rex Orange County song that I had done for the concert just recently. And he's one of my favorite artists. I love him. And I don't know, I guess I just like that took over and <laughs> we just did random chord progressions until it kind of fit. I would hum something first in my head and I'd be like, oh, that sounded good. So then I would go to the piano and I'd find the notes I'd hum and I'd kind of play them mm -hmm. and I'd make chords around those single notes yeah. and then turn them into sevenths, which is what Rex, he does a lot of funky, crazy seventh chords. And so I kind of added that into it. Mm -hmm. That's then, really cool. So you yeah. started with a vocal melody. Yes. And then based the chords around that. Yeah, it was. Which kind of explains why it got so crazy because you didn't intentionally <laughs> yeah. go for the E flat major seven. Yeah. Or no. whatever else you play. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. So it, it's it's an interesting process. And then yeah. where did the words come into it? Like, did the words come first, or did the words feel right as you played the music portion? I would. It was definitely after I hummed and kind of got the piano. The words were definitely the most difficult part for me just because <laughs> I'm not very good with words naturally. I kind of stumble on stuff a lot. So it was very difficult to find stuff that like rhymed and fit well together. So I would kind of come up with one line and then I would go to like Google and be like words that rhyme with, I don't know, soul or like something like that. And I'd come up with, I'd like find a word and I'd be like, oh, maybe that could work. And I think of things that like happened and then I kind of see if I can fit it with that one word and then I come up with another line and just kind of keep doing that. Like, I, it was a lot of Googling words. <laughs> but also at the same so, time, you have to make it make sense, right? Yeah. So you don't just rely on the Google word. You're yeah. Like, okay, how do I make this? Yeah, I definitely changed the words a lot, as you know. Yeah. I had a ton of verses and then I cut them down and then I'd be like, oh, but I like the other verse I cut. So then I would replace it with another one and then just a lot of different... Yeah. <laughs> And I think changes. it's still going to change, right? Oh, yeah. And I hope that we can make a recording, like a full Yes, on, I... Like maybe your first single is your first Oh, my gosh, I love it. kind of crazy. Add some guitar yes, and drums. drums. It'd be so good. <laughs> and maybe you can even play the drums. Yeah. If you're wanting to do that. I do really want to do the drums. I'm sure your family's excited about it. <laughs> Mom's <laughs> like... <laughs> really loud. Oh, my but gosh. But it's worth it. Okay, yeah. Everybody. Yeah, they're fun. I like um, them. Yeah, so that's going to be really cool, and then you can, you can, the song will keep evolving, right? Mm -hmm. And even after you record it, when you play it live in two years, it might be completely different. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. But same kind of basis and, and storyline yeah, and yeah. all of that. Um, so what, I guess, have you started a new song yet? I actually haven't. 
but just working on this song and coming up with like transition chords and stuff there are definitely some chords that chord progressions I didn't use in this song that I kind of like kept in my brain and I'm like oh this would sound really cool maybe for a different song and so I have a couple of other ones I'm like kind of keeping yeah and what's your (laughs) method of because I'm sure like as you go through the day you have a you know, some lyrics that pop into your head, mm-hmm. and then you have a vocal melody idea, or you have a chord progression idea. Mm-hmm. What? How do you keep track of all of that? Because so. everyone has their own method, and I think it would be helpful for people to hear how you keep track. Yeah, I mean, so, hopefully you write it down or something. Yeah, I go to school. I'm in high school, obviously. <laughs> so I can't necessarily, like, go sit down at a piano in, in the middle of the day because I'm in class. Why not, though? No. I know, I wish. <laughs> So if something would pop into my head, I always carried, I have like a little Harry Potter notebook that I used for all my lyrics when I wrote them down. Um, So I'd always carry that with me to school like while I was writing it. So if I was just like sitting in math, really bored, I'd be like, oh, that sounds really cool. Like maybe that will work. So I'd have like all of the lyrics down. So I'd write it down real quick. And then if I had a melody that popped into my head, I'd go out in the hallway or like in the bathroom. I'd just say I need to go to the bathroom. But I'd go out in the hallway and I'd like, take the voice record app and like secretly like hum it into the app so I could remember it. Yeah. So like by the end of the day I have like 10 recordings from this school. This is like the one thing you should never get in trouble for. <laughs> like, if I you know. never get in trouble for this, I want to like step <laughs> in. And... Yeah, so I'd have like a ton of lyrics and a ton of vocal recordings by the end of like almost every single day. Yeah. And I'd come home and try to fit it when I got to my piano and I'd like fit it in, cut some stuff out yeah. and then start over See the next day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited then, for whatever is next. I yeah, mean, if this too. is your first song, then you set, you set the bar kind of high. Yeah. No yeah. pressure. Though. <laughs> but yeah. um, it's really cool how you, you the music you listen to inspires what you write. Oh, yeah, like, definitely. greatly. Oh, yes. And so if anyone goes back and they watch your performance from this spring, mm-hmm. um, which was Sycamore Girl, yeah, I'm sure that people can especially musicians can see similarities oh yeah it's it's still very different yeah you'll definitely be able and if you listen to like any of his songs yeah I think you'll definitely be able to kind of like hear that kind of same he kind of has that like jazzy kind of feel the funkiness I think you'll definitely jazz and funk yes I love it (laughs) that's why we get along I'm like yes let's do this perfect Perfect. I think you'll definitely be able to like hear that in yeah whatever what other artists besides him inspire you I mean you're wearing a Fleetwood Mac shirt so yes I love love Fleetwood Mac I love them my dad got me hooked on them he played one song in his truck and I was like I like this a lot and I just kept listening to them and then um yes Fleetwood Mac I love them I love it's a band called Wallows they're super cool the main singer I think he also plays guitar for it he's an actor I cannot remember his name but he played the main guy in 13 Reasons Why. Okay. So he's like a big actor, and anyone who like, you know, I'm sure people will know, I just can't remember his name right now. Yeah. But they're super, super cool, I love them. I didn't even know he was a musician. Oh, me neither, until wow. I, yeah, my friend was like, did you know that that's the same, like I didn't connect the two, and yeah. I was like, I was so that's surprised. Impressive. Yeah, wow. I was like, dang, yeah, so they are so good, I love listening to them. Yeah, they're super good. Um, and and who? What other bands like do you think affect your sound moving forward? I guess you don't really know because you don't even know your second song, right? Yeah. But but <laughs> do you do you notice besides the bands you've already mentioned? Do you notice any other influences seep in? Like I know for me, I notice a lot of like sixties and seventies music. Yeah, seeping into I definitely my music. think like the more kind of like in like indie pop kind of like yeah. newer stuff that I don't know is like becoming cool I guess but yeah. the cool like I don't know just kind of groove feeling to it that's kind of like summer songs I guess yeah. like with the really cool guitar that's really upbeat mm-hmm. like Wallows they do a lot of that stuff yeah. and just like kind of that stuff I've been thinking about like I was just talking to my mom about this on the way there like I love to do something more upbeat for something yes. next because well, this was sad. so yeah this one was okay. so very sad yeah. but I would like to do something more upbeat with maybe a guitar as the bass instead yeah. of piano like bass on guitar instead right. I think that'd be very cool so that kind of style yeah um, so it sounds like you need to learn drums yeah, I, you want to do. I like, need to learn drums. All so. like it just has to happen. <laughs> but because that's that really does set the tone for a song, yes, right? Like yeah. what makes you get in your car and be like, oh yeah, oh, roll yes. the windows down. It's the yes, drums. It's the drums. They yeah. like 
It's every, every. I just yeah. Oh, they're so good. I you got a lot on your plate. This <laughs> I do have a lot. <laughs> what else do you like to do besides music? Is there any other passions you have or things you're interested in? I love doing theater. Okay. I have been doing it for this is my like second year. Okay. Doing it, I started it because I'm a sophomore in high school. I guess junior now. We just, yeah, you just yeah finished. summer. So I guess technically junior now, which is really weird. But so you have two more years left. Uh yeah. Okay. So weird, but I love theater. Um, I just I think that like definitely the arts. Yeah. I definitely stick in that. There's no like sports or anything. I'm not like. Usually it's one or the other. Yeah. I mean sometimes it's both. But yeah. It, but I definitely so yeah like the musical theater. Mm-hmm. I love 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 theater. I love doing shows and I just like performing for people and making them happy or mm-hmm. sad or whatever. I yeah. like I like giving people that ability to, to feel that without like just watching other people I like giving people that choice to like be able to like oh be happy like oh, I'm feeling so down I want to go see a funny play and then like them seeing me and being like just feeling better like I like I like that you have so much effect. control over people's emotions yeah yeah that do. like I like the effect it has on people and yeah just, and you could do a lot of good with that yeah yeah and I, I mean, think it goes hand in hand with the music too yeah. kind of uh, music is very yeah very, very affecting. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so sure. they definitely go hand in hand. Yeah. Cool. And then um, the first, I didn't even ask this first, but um, how old are you? What instruments <laughs> do you play? And what's your name? I am 15. I'm about to turn 16. Very excited. Um, my name's Riley Peck. <laughs> I play guitar and piano. Mm-hmm. And then I also do voice with a teacher here. Mm-hmm. I've been doing voice since I was in third grade. Third grade, so. And you sing some classical. Yes, I do sing. It's very voice. funny. People don't very like, expect that. Yeah. I think it's I like. I would never have picked you. For yeah, that. just like the way I like dress, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and like the You're other. Not showing stuff. up in a ball gown. Yeah, I don't. You know. I don't wear like button-up shirts and a slack slacks. Like I don't like. I dress like a play guitar and piano, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just like the stuff I play, like the jazzy sound chords. People don't usually expect that. And then I, they're like, oh, what kind of stuff do you sing? I'm like, oh, I love doing classical, like, operatic stuff. It's my favorite. I love singing it. And they're always like, what? Like, they're so surprised, and yeah. it's so funny. It's just like... And the first time I met you was when you came in to per- perform, and I had no <laughs> idea what you were going to perform. And then you opened your mouth, and I was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, I was... not expecting <laughs> I was very excited, yes. Yeah. Tabitha is great. I'm very glad I chose her. She was definitely the right fit. For me, she's yeah. very classical. Yeah. I like her a lot. She pushes everybody's yes. boundaries. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah, in right? a very, very good way. She's helped me a lot. I, yeah. I like taking from her. Yeah. And yeah. since you play all these instruments, you, you see similarities, right? Like as you play guitar into playing oh, piano. Yeah. Especially now that you're doing more theory piano. Work. Yes. When I do, especially because sometimes we do the same songs, like with me and you and piano, and then me and Christine, mm-hmm. guitar, like we, I did Sycamore Girls on guitar too, and then I also did it with piano. Yeah. Just seeing like the similarities within the two, I definitely saw that. Mm-hmm. And then Christine would go, she would show me like it on the guitar, and then how it kind of worked. And then she'd show me on the piano at the same time, and just show me how like they worked. And it was the just shape so- The is the same as the Yeah, it line. was, yeah, it would just like, kind of all fit together and yeah. it was like oh my gosh it was so cool it's really cool yeah it was very very cool but at the same time they're very different instruments yes they're very right. different I definitely piano is a lot easier it is right yeah. it's very laid out yeah it's very There's like formulas. all simple and then guitar yeah. it's like all these funky shapes, shapes yeah. and you can't hold your fingers you have yeah. to like spread them yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. it's very difficult you have to, like make your wrist very flexible yeah you have to use your pinky which oh. doesn't ever want to work yeah and then your fingers like cramp up yeah. and you're just like oh my gosh yeah. like yeah. Yeah, but it's cool. It's, it's good fun. you're doing it early, though. Yeah, it's it's, much harder it's very early. challenging. I, I definitely think I needed a challenge after doing voice for so long. Yeah. And then piano. I mean, piano is difficult, but I already knew kind of the basics a little bit. Just from doing voice and sight reading and stuff, I kind of knew. Like, I didn't start from, like, just from scratch. Right. So I kind of knew it already a little bit. And, like, just doing voice, it helped me with the piano. So I think it's definitely one of the – it's easier for me than guitar. Yeah. And I was like, oh, let's do guitar. Why not? That'll be fun. Because I played ukulele, so I was like... No, it's much harder. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, it'll be easy. It's just adding, like, two more two more strings. I was yeah. like, it won't, be, it won't be that hard. And then I was like, 
it's okay yeah it's a it was definitely a challenge I really really needed yeah. and I'm glad I did that because it definitely has helped me like learn more and yeah. grow and I I really I'm glad I did that one yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah. and um my last question is it's it's a tough question because you shouldn't feel the need to know what you're going to do but yeah. it seems clear that music will be in your life for oh. forever oh, yes. and theater and all those yeah. create, creative arts so do you have an idea of what you want to do with all of this yes i have always had a couple of ideas if you ask my mom i'm always like this would be cool and then the next day i'm like oh but i want to do this but this is the right time to do that. <laughs> yeah right. so it's like always but i they always have stayed in the realm of music. I think it would be cool to, because I don't want to be like famous. That has never been something that I've like, I want to be famous and I want everyone to like know my name and be on the radio. That's never something that's really like appeal to me. I don't want everyone to be I think there's a lot more negativity to that. Yeah, and I've, and I've like, I just don't want that to like, all that pressure to kind of like ruin music for me and always feel like it's kind of a chore. Mm -hmm. Like I have to put out a new song, I have to do this and I don't want people like, I just don't want that effect on me because I don't want to lose that part of my life just because it's like literally my whole life. Yeah. Um, so I feel like it'd be cool to do something kind of more like low key. I take from another voice teacher because she was a friend of my dad's and she's actually an opera singer. Like she does that professionally. So yeah. it's super, super cool. I take from her like once every two weeks yeah. around there and just like she helps me with like the more opera style. Mm -hmm. Um, so it'd be cool to do something like that. I think it, yeah. the opera classical definitely fits my voice the best. I've just had more training with that. And I love like singing in different languages and just the emotion. And there's a lot, a lot of acting within opera. If you go see an opera, you can see like, you never understand what they're saying necessarily, yeah. but you can, you understand the story through their emotions and their acting and the yeah. way they perform the music, the way they like use their tone and stuff. And I think that's such a cool thing and so I would love to do that when I'm older that's like maybe awesome. do like an opera company or something yeah. like I think that'd be really cool and then because you will have experience with other instruments mm -hmm. it'll make you a lot more versatile yeah yeah to you know help people or yes. teach people right yeah you, you and I teach yeah and like I could do something like how she yeah. does like she still yeah. teaches like lessons on the side like I right. think that'd be super cool or yeah, like yeah. I don't know because you don't do opera forever there's not like a ton of super old people in opera they yeah. retire pretty early yeah. <laughs> so maybe like I don't know like teaching I don't know like yeah. choir when I'm like done or theater I think that'd be like a cool option to yeah. think about cool yeah awesome. <laughs> well thank you so much yes of course and do you thank have anything you. else that you want to add or uh, advice to other people or anything that you want to uh, share about songwriting I think that it was, <laughs> this is so funny, I, when I went up to you and asked what, I was like, oh, this bathroom thing, that sounds so cool. This bathroom thing. This bathroom thing. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was, but I was like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, I'll sing one of the songs on my own tablet, because that would sound so cool in the bathroom. I didn't realize that it was original songs. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll do a classical sound, that's so cool, like the ring in the bathroom, that'll sound so cool. So I went up to you, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, let's do this. And then you were like, actually, it's original songs. And I was like, pressure. Okay. And I was not <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I'll do it. Yeah. I was like, oh, my gosh, I really don't want to do this. But I'm. I didn't realize how much pressure I was putting on you. <laughs> no, it wasn't like pressure. I was right. just like, I wasn't expecting that because I thought it was like songs people had learned. Right. And so then, because I knew you and Christine were, like, secretly plotting, trying to get me to do yeah. it. Or just like Christine, to, Christine told me, she was like, I really want you to write song. It was so funny. Yeah. But I was like, oh, gosh. And it was very difficult for me to, like, find something to write about. Because I'm not, like, nothing super dramatic has happened in my life. Like, I've never, like, I don't know. Nothing crazy has happened. So it was very difficult to find something. Yeah. Um, I would just say, like, I don't know to anyone if anyone's watching this like yeah. who hasn't written a song and really wants to I think if you just look in like the smallest places I guess it can really spark anything because I was just cleaning my room and then I found that present she gave me with like that adventure book with all yeah. adventure book um with all the pictures and I was like kind of looking through it and I was like that's what I'll do it about and like that once I like saw that and I realized I was like oh 
So it can really come from anything, like ideas. You don't have to have something like super crazy dramatic. Like, I don't know, it can, you can just like find something in your room and you're like, yeah. oh, maybe that can work. I can write a song about that. So it can really like, a song can come from anything. And I think people like, I think people should keep that in their minds. Like, just like always be aware of what you're looking at. And I think yeah. that will really help spark an idea if that makes yeah. sense. No, absolutely. Yeah, so that's kind of how I. And also you might that. not realize how deeply you feel about something. Yeah, I, write about yeah it. I thought I was very content yeah. With, with the situation. With the situation, I was like, oh, I'm fine. Like, I don't... Usually, like, cool. I'm fine. I'm fine. Is like... Yeah. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm chill. Like, I'm yeah. cool. And then I, like, saw... I forgot it, she even, like, gave that to me, honestly. And then I saw it, and I was like, oh, my gosh. And I was, like, looking through it. And then all I was just was like... Yeah. Yeah. And then I, like, got my Harry Potter notebook, and I was, like, writing it down, like, as fast as I could, and then yeah. that just kind of, like, sparked the whole... That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. You just came with lyrics yeah. prepared. Yeah. I was, like, here you go. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. some really good advice. <laughs> Come from anything. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you. Very excited.